today's xi gua smoothie. Now I'm going for a frozen smoothie type of texture today. So I have pre-frozen the xi gua watermelon, pre-frozen blueberries, pre-frozen cut cucumber, pre-frozen cut celery, and then five slices of ginger, quarter of a lemon, and some mint leaves. If you have a sweet tooth, you can add a bit of agave or honey or maple syrup at the end if it's not sweet enough. And then coconut water. All right, and then we're, we're ready to start. Okay, so this is going to be super, super simple. Let's chuck a cup of frozen watermelon into the blender. You may need to break it up a bit. Chuck all the blueberries in here. The reason I've added blueberries is because blueberry will give it that, you know, that gelatin, gelato type of texture. Cucumber to offset the super sweetness um, and celery. So if you don't like any of these ingredients, you can feel free to not include them. And then a bit of ginger because watermelon is very in, very cold type of fruit. So I'm adding a bit of ginger to yang it up. A quarter of a lemon, so it's not entirely super sweet. I'm going for that sweet but refreshing type of healthy watermelon smoothie. And mint leaves. And then let's chuck about 200 ml of coconut water, depending on how smoothy, how liquidy you want your smoothie. So this is your choice. And then we pop it on the blender. It's finished blending, look at this. Now have a taste and see if you like the sweetness of this because it really depends on how sweet your watermelon and your blueberries are. So I like the sweetness as is. So I'm not going to add any agave, honey or maple syrup into this today. If the watermelon or the blueberry you have is less sweet and a bit more sour, then you can always add the agave honey or maple syrup to your liking to make it a little bit sweeter. I'm today just doing all 100% fruit and veggie smoothie only. So I'm gonna pour it in a pretty wine glass today. It also gives you the illusion that you're drinking wine, but it actually isn't. And then we can just decorate it with whatever you want. Ta-da, it's ready. Xi smoothie. Isn't this pretty? Cheers! 
西瓜 watermelon smoothie. Doesn't this look super refreshing and super yummy and pretty? <laughs> Do you like the little heart I put on top? <laughs> okay, let's start. Now I'm gonna need a spoon because look at the texture. It is like smoothie, frozen smoothie. Hmm. Oh my god, this is so yummy. It has the natural sweetness of the watermelon and the blueberry and the coconut water. And then because I put cucumber and lemon and celery in it, it gives it, it offsets that other two sweetness from the fruits. So it makes it a very light, refreshing, but sweet smoothie, but it's very refreshing as well. Perfect for a summer's day or for a hot day to rehydrate yourself. And remember, there's protein in here. Remember to share this super healthy, super refreshing and super yummy Shi Gua watermelon smoothie with your friends, family and loved ones. Live healthy, live happy. Woohoo! I'll see you next Thursday. Mwah. Welcome to Age of the Plants, episode 23. W for wasabi. Eh? And of course, the bloopers from... Uh, and of course, the bloopers from vanilla. Uh, Today, we will be making wasabi. It is going to be... Eh? And before we start, make sure you preheat the oven on... Uh, before we start... Uh. So I'm going to do it the lazy way. So if you're lazy like me, follow me. That's the secret. I'm going to start off... <coughs> Cow. Hang on, need water. Be patient and try not to eat it. So crunchy. Oh, oh my god. Did you just hear that? Ta da! It's ready. Check this. Yeah. Ta da! It's ready. Check this out. Wasabi chickpeas with no oil. Super crunchy and is packed full of protein. Remember to share this secret. Remember to share this simple. Uh, now let's have a taste and see what it tastes like. Mmm! Did you hear that? Super crunchy. You have to try it. Mm. 